So on this problem, what they're asking us is to approximate this in decimal form. So what we want to do is we need to look at this and say, well, what exactly are these you know, little things talking about? A couple things you guys need to know is when we're talking about degree measure, right? Um, I was talking with another class and they're like, they didn't understand the minutes and seconds. Think of minutes and seconds just like we talk about with meters and centimeters. It's a way for us to break up our measurements. Same thing like feet and inches. We just don't count everything by feet. We can break them down by inches, right? And before you, you guys are kind of accustomed and used to inches, and you're very easy for you to remember, oh, inches is our part of a foot. Well, the same thing, same thing are with minutes and seconds. They are just a smaller measurement of your degree. Okay, so, so far you guys know that degrees, you know, you say, oh, from here to, you know, here we have 360 degrees. Well, so far degrees only go up by one degree, one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree. What if I want a more exact measurement? What if I want to get smaller and smaller between one and two degrees? How do you measure that? Well, we do that by what we call minutes. So you're going to have is degrees. Then the next one is minutes, and then seconds. All right, so by minutes, we abbreviate with this one little apostrophe, and seconds, we have the double, all right? And how are we going to find their value? If I gave you an angle and I said 54 degrees in 45 minutes, put that in decimal approximation, or put that as a decimal. Well, to do that, one way you could think about that is Think of degrees as hours. Just think of it as, you know, an hour, okay? So if degrees was hours, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. 60. So what I can do is I can rewrite 54 degrees plus 45 minutes out of a total of 60. Because 60 minutes will make up, you know, one, one hour, right? So I find out my 45 divided by 60 which is 0.75, so this is 54.75 degrees. Wait, so minutes you put over hours, and over hours? Well, you put over, yeah, in terms of minutes, 60 minutes. And then for this one, now you have minutes and seconds. So this one would be 85 plus 18 over 60, and then we're talking about seconds now. How many seconds are in a minute? 60. 60. And then you have 60 minutes in an hour, right? Yeah. So it'd be 60 times 60, which is 3,600. Yeah. Oh gosh. So I do 85, which is 18 divided by 60 now. So I have 85 plus 0.3 plus 30 divided by 3,600, which is 0.0083. Repeating. So then, to find this angle, it's 85.3083, repeating. That's a big degree. Degrees. So everything we just think of it like in an hour? You can think of your degrees as an hour to help you determine your degrees in minutes. So if it's repeating, can I put that line? Yeah. Okay. If you're going to be approximated. Any question on this? 